I think I just got my first silver. And it says one dime on the back. So is it gonna be Barber, which is most likely gonna be Barber, not seated. But it's still in the coin plug. Check this out. Good morning, everyone. Back on the road again today on Friday. It's my day off. Headed back down to where I was in my last video, uh, just in the same neighborhood. Got another early 1900s house I'm going to hit in that neighborhood and uh, see what I can find. I've actually hunted this yard before and I uh, didn't find a whole lot, but uh, that's before I think I had my Equinox and everything else. It's been a long time since I've been in that yard, but like they always say, a yard's never hunted out, is it? And then I'm going to go maybe door knock. There's this one 1925 house in the same neighborhood that uh, the owner had passed away, but I don't know if anybody's living there or not. So I was gonna knock on it. Then I've got two more houses across town. Uh, one's a 1910 house, a small house, and another one's a small house kind of beside it. It's got some big yards. So maybe that's gonna do something, produce something, I hope so. And, uh, but we'll find out. So I've got about 30 minutes to drive. And so I will see you guys out in the yard. I'm out here on location and uh, I'm gonna hit my first yard just right down the road is where I hit that house that last video where I found that half dollar but you can see it's a very cute little house it's got a kind of a small yard got a backyard we'll hit and um, we'll see what we're gonna get in this yard the ground is so dry here in Texas we're just still in a drought we need some rain and uh, so it's gonna be kind of hard digging but We'll see what we can get. So let's jump in there. Let's see what we find. All right, gonna be using my Equinox this morning. We're going to uh, look at the uh, set where we are on the uh, recovery speed. We're gonna be at nine. That's where I like to keep it. Uh, I got the horseshoe off. We're gonna keep the sensitivity about 20 this time around. And we're gonna be hunting multiple frequency in park one. So let's get at it. All right, I dug up a penny. And I've got my second signal here that I didn't do a live dig on it, but it was uh, jumping up all over the place from a 30 down to a 22. Didn't know what it was. And it's a small little coin or a button or something. And uh, I've just popped it out. That's right there. Let me get in the light. We might can see it better. It's got something on it. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. Let's let me clean it up just a little bit, and we'll see what it is. It's time. You know what I'm gonna say. To break out the holy water. All right. Let's see what this is gonna be. It's gonna be a button, I think, with some type of something on it. I can't see it. Yeah, maybe it's not gonna be anything. Well, I kinda, it looks kinda silver. It's some type of little coin. I'm not real certain what it is. It's got some type of design on it. It looks silver. It's thin. The same design is kinda, there's something else on the back. So I don't know. I have no clue what this is gonna be. We'll get it back to the house and we'll clean it up later. And we'll see what it'll be once I get it all cleaned up. It's definitely something. Oh, we're getting a 22, about six inches deep. Let's live dig it. a memorial penny I think so no it's gonna be a weedy it's gonna be a wheat penny yep my first weedy 
Well, I came back here in the backyard. It's got a rock wall right through here. Got a big tree right here, steps. So I thought I would hit this little area right here. And I got a 2930, thought it was gonna be a silver dime or a quarter. End up gonna be some play money, 10 cent play money. That may be what I dug in the front yard too. And once I clean it up, that's probably what it's gonna be because it's the same size, same weight. It's gonna be uh, some type of uh, play money. All right, let's keep over on it. It's uh, signals have gone quiet and I've got two more houses to hit. And I got a buddy meet me over there later on. So maybe uh, we'll hit it good and get some good places. Cause that's also a time, <clears throat> there was a clubhouse there at one time where they drink and party. So it could be a real good place to go. So we'll check that out here in just a little bit. Anybody need to go to the restroom? Little outhouse back here in the backyard. I got Mr. Hunter Williams. Say hello, Hunter. Hey guys. He, uh, he came down to meet me up and we door knocked on this and this place is empty but we called the mortgage company and we got permission to do this 1925 house and check this out. That looks pretty nice, doesn't it? It's got a really big front yard. Uh, I think there's a big backyard and then they have a big side lot over here. And so this may be pretty good. So we're going to get geared up and we're going to get out here and we get something. We'll put the camera on it and show it to you. So let's get some silvers. Yeah. Got a 30, 31, 27. That may be silver dime. Let's live dig this one. Let's see. All right. Moment of truth. That's what it's going to be right there. Big. Looks like some type of. Uh, I don't know. It's brass. Let's see if there's anything on it. No, nope. just going to be a brass buckle. All right. Thought it was gonna be silver. It's close. Let's keep on going. Well, I'm gonna take a break. It's supposed to get up to about 90 today. It's hot. And uh, this house, I think, has been hunted because all we're digging is trash. And that's a shame. It's a good looking house, you know, a uh, good yard, 1925. But that's the way it goes. So we got two other houses we're gonna go hit. One's a 1910, and one's maybe a little bit uh, uh, newer than that. Uh, so we're gonna head over there, and so we'll see you guys out in the yard. All right, we're out here on the next location. And uh, we have these two houses. Hunter's getting geared up. This is the newer house here. Big front yard. And then this house over here is a 1910. And it's got a smaller yard and backyard inside here. So we're gonna see if these things, if we can dig in the ground, the ground is just baked out so hard. So hopefully we'll get something. So cross your fingers. All right, let's get going. We're getting a 36, 37. So let's uh, live dig this one together. There it is. That was a lock. No lock. Clean it up and see if we can get a, some writing off of it. It'll be like a yell. Yeah. It's going to be an old lock. Let's keep on going. It's getting a 26, 27, 28. About uh, five inches deep. And just popped it up. See it right there. It's going to be maybe some type of token. So let me uh, get the holy water out. And we'll spray that down. We'll see what it is. That's going to be tax token. We dug one. Hunter dug one while ago. Nope. It's going to be 
some other token. Let's see. Let's go. I can probably straighten this one up. It's got writing on it. I do see writing. All right. Let's see what this is. I can't tell. It's kind of tacoed over. Let me keep doing some work on it, see if I can't straighten it up and get some riding off of it and tell you what it's going to be. All right, I got it cleaned up. It's going to be a mystery club, a Cracker Jack uh, presidential token. And that's good. I collect these. And uh, this is the seventh president. I don't know who the seventh president is. I don't remember. And I uh, can't read the name on it. But anyway, I'll get home and put this in my wood vise, and I will straighten this out and put it in the display case with all the other presidential tokens. I wanted to show you how I clean my tokens. This is a, some play money that I dug, and I really wasn't for sure what it was. But I cleaned it up yesterday, and you can see it's a $0.10 cent, uh, play token, uh, or play money. Here's another play money of a different type, and it's all corroded up on front and back and then here is a Cracker Jack token that is bent and it's an Andrew Jackson token so we're going to clean that up and I'm going to show you how I straighten this out and then I'm going to show you this acid that I have this oxalic acid we're just going to mix it up in some water and stir it up we're just going to put the tokens in there and we're going to leave them about 30 minutes and check on them and then we're going to see how they come back and what they're going to look like. So let me straighten this one up. And all I do to straighten this up is I have a wood vise right here. And I just stick it in here and I just close it up and it straightens up. Just stick it in there and we crimp it down and it straightens up. So let's uh, open this up. Let's take this out. And there you have it. Your token is straight as it can be. It's got a little burr on it right there. I'll file that down. Because I collect these tokens and put them in a display. So now, let's clean these up. We're just going to put a little bit of acid in here. Let's just go ahead and show you how. Just That's enough right there. And I just normally just kind of stir it up. And then I'm just going to drop the two tokens in there. And stir them around. Now let's give them 30 minutes and let's see what they're going to look like. So the magic of television, let's clap. And here they are now. Here's the one I just cleaned and here's my Cracker Jack token. And you don't want to leave these in too long. 30 minutes is probably enough and you can check them. I may put this one back in just a little bit longer. Try to get that off of his face. But if you leave it in too long, this acid will eat through these aluminum tokens. So you got to find the right timing between t doing too much I may just leave this one alone now so you just want to go wash these off with water and then you've got them clean and you can see the before and after how much cleaner those are but don't leave them in too long this will work on coins too uh, but you just really got to watch it so there you go now you know how I straighten out my tokens and how I clean them up where they look better now I'm just got to file that down right there and I'll be in good shape to go and I'll put it in my display case and I'll show you that as well well we didn't find anything over at those other two houses so we uh, decided on the way back out of town that we would come back over here to the house that I hit uh, in my last video that uh, found all those uh, half dollars and stuff right over here and so we're going to hunt around the house and hunt over there where we had the clubs uh, planted hunt a seeded hunt so we may find some mercury dimes left over over there but uh, <clears throat> anything will be good today because it's been a bust hunters right there he's got him a target so let's see if we can't find us some sniff out some silver I'm over here on the side of the yard where we planted coins many years ago and I'm sure that we're gonna find some uh, rosy and mercury dimes that we planted and so I'm over here on the side, which I've got a target right here, which is probably going to be one of those planted coins. But hey, I'll take silver any day. So I don't know. Check this out. I'm, I'm jumping up to, there it is, 34, 33, 21, 31. Right there. That's uh, not very deep. Let's just live dig it. 
and see what this is going to be. If it's a planted corn, it won't be very deep. It could have been planted as much as from last year. Let's just see. All right, still down there. Let me set you up here. No, here we go. Ah, all right. Finally, finally, I saw, there it is. Goodness gracious, little Merc. He's been hiding from me. Two nails and, yeah, that's gonna probably be a planted coin. It's probably why people missed it in the hunt because it had two uh, nails in the, in the pile with it. Hey, I'll take a, I'll take that. Right now, I'll just take anything. It's just been one of those days. You have a great week like last uh, video and then boom, you come out here and you just get just so far just one silver, one token and uh, some wheat pennies. All right, sun's going down. Let's keep on looking and uh, let's get a picture of this and see if we can't find some more silver. I'm gonna hunt the back that hasn't been planted and see what is back there. Last time I found a silver in that toy soldier. So I'm gonna go back over there and try to search for a little bit more over there. Well, I'm back in the backyard, kind of right behind me, right here. It's where I dug that uh, mercury dime last in my last video. And so I'm kind of working back toward the house and I got a real iffy signal. And it was high, low, jumping all around. And let me show you what I got. First thing I dug up was this bottle cap. That's my high tone, I guess, or mid mid tone. Uh, I was in the 20s. I still got a piece of iron in the hole. And when I scooped out this last time, can you see it? Right there. That is going to be another beautiful Mercury Dime 1941. They come out of this sand just looking so beautiful. And it was in the hole with with that it was a little bit lower than that but i'll set it up there we'll give us a picture and see what else we can find i am laying down i am tired i am so tired i've been at it since about 10 o'clock this morning it's about uh, four o'clock now and we just haven't found a lot so that's kind of one of the worst days there is when you don't find a lot and you're hunting really hard but I'm back over here on the side where I found those uh, three half dollars last time. I was getting a 35, 33 high tone. And I wanna know whoever planted this coin, I want you to see how they're planting coins. This is how you don't plant coins in a seeded hunt. Look at that. That is straight up and down, straight up and down. That is not how you plant coins at all. That's why these coins were missed, because every one I'm digging is planted on edge. And uh, it's about four inches deep. But planted on edge, just a clad half, 1980. All right, let's set her up here and let's uh, get a picture and keep swinging. See if we can find a real one, not a planted one. Jump. All right. Hunter's got him a high tone, 3133. I think it's gonna be one of those planted half dollars, but he hasn't dug one, so let's see, let's see what it is. Maybe he'll get him a half dollar and get something today. There it is. There it is. Is that a half? No, it's a dollar it's coin. Dollar. It's a dollar coin. Hey, he got you something anyway. What do you think about digging a planted coin? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, you never know what it's gonna be. It. I thought it might have been a barber. Yeah, first man. Oh well, it's something. It's still pretty cool. It's something. Well, we got you on camera anyway, digging a coin. Maybe there's a barber out here. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Well, that's gonna do it for today. We really didn't find anything out here, which it's been hunted so much out here. So it's just, I found that one uh, merc in the back and the one planted merc over here and. Uh, half dollar that's it and uh, so i'm gonna uh head out tomorrow or maybe sunday afternoon i'm gonna meet up with army man and digger lady out on a new location today and look who i got with me say hello digger lady hello it's been a long time yes hello army man hey guys long time absolutely new location moved on a lot cooler today too 
we're back out here at the place we called relic roundup and we have dug all this through here all of this and we have found lots of stuff but back there where all that mulch is was an old lumber yard and uh, he's mulched all these trees up which was like a nursery and they let the trees grow up and they mulched them all back down and so the lumber yard was a little bit that way but this whole area was a lumber yard and some houses over here and so we well, don't know for what we're going to get but we're going to get out there it's a beautiful day good friendships so we're going to go out there and see what we can find so let's get at it i think i just got my first silver i think it says one dime on the back so is it going to be barber which is probably likely going to be barber not seated but it's still in the coin plug check this out you see it right there what's bad is this is the part that we could have done already i know it look at there it says one dime flip her over pop it here bring it back up oh gosh that's in there that clay. that's not dirt <laughs> that's like that's clay there concrete. it is that's hard stuff there is it going to be barber or seated it says one dime on the back check that out Let's see here. One dime. Flip it. It's gonna be Mr. Barber. 19. 19. 12. I can't tell. Good deal. Would it ring up, sir? Uh, 24. <laughs> I don't know. Who's got better eyes than I do? <laughs> See what you think it is. You got your glasses on, Chris. Yeah, here, you do that. Bigger lady. Tell us what it is. 19, it's going to be no. from 1916 and earlier. It's 1908. 1908 Barber Dime. Good job. Check it out. First good target, ringing up like a 24 over here on the side. And uh, we know there's silvers in the ground now, still, don't we? Still over here. Yeah, there's still silvers here. All right, let's keep swinging. Nothing like coming out here and getting a barber on your first good target. So let's keep on going. Well, it's getting late. That's going to do it for me. I'm going to come back out here on Friday since I've got that barber. I know there's more out here and I haven't really detected out there in the uh, woods yet where all the lumber mill actually was. So we're going to make another trip out here Friday, see what we come up with. So I will see you on Friday. All right, it's Friday and uh, just got out here this morning. Had to make a run up to Dallas and back and back out here at the Relic Roundup where I found that Barber Dime and I'm in the hunt for silver and tokens today. That's what we're wanting to do this uh, lumber yard for, see if we can find a token. And we found some more silvers down this stretch of ground right here. Used to be a house right here and then two other buildings right here and like an oil tank. And all back through there was the uh, lumber mill and all back over here. So hopefully we're gonna find something. So let's get to swinging. When I get something, I'll put the camera on it. So let's hope Barber may be seated. I doubt it. This is mainly Barber early in 1900s right here. So let's get at it. Well, I'm just right down from where I got that uh, Barber dime right here. Just kind of working this area. Got a 1213 and check this out. They got a little piece of a, a chain. So that's a good sign. You get a coin, you get some jewelry. You're definitely on an old home site. That's old. That's been there for a while. That's all there is. There's no more in the hole. All right. Let's keep on going. See if we can't get us a token. Get us another silver. Check this out, guys. I was getting a real jumpy 27 to 25, 27. Took this top layer off. Getting a 31, 32. Right there, about six inches deep. Let's keep on digging. Let's see what it's going to be. Yep. Check this out. It's going to be a coin. 
in the same hole with this right here. Check that out. It's going to be a, a very tarnished Washington Quarter. That Barber Dime came out black like that too. Well, that's a piece of silver. Right where that horse is right up there is where I dug that barber. So I've just been working in this fence row. All this in here was the sawmill. And uh, and so I'm just kind of working back and forth here. But uh, she's not very pretty. But hey, I'll take a 45 Washington quarter. Well, working myself back up, back in that same area where I found that quarter and that bar, barber dime. Working myself back up to where the house site was. Then gonna work over here in this uh, lumber area that I was getting. I'm not, what you don't know is I've done about six live digs and every time it's just trash. It's uh, just trash. So I quit live digging. And as soon as I quit live digging, I get a good tone of 2930 and jumping around a little bit and I see a silver edge in the hole. Check this out. Can y'all see it right there? There it is. It's gonna say one dime. One dime. Let's get in the shade here. That's uh there it is, one dime. Let's pop that. Let's uh, put it right there. Let me get my water. All right, it's going to be a 1900 Barber Dime. Let's see if it has a mint mark on it. Can't really tell. Can't tell if it has a mint mark on it or not. It's kind of... Kind of... Uh, beaten up a little bit. Black like that other one. But I'll take that. Let's get a picture. And let's keep on looking. Could be something else out here. Let's get a 15. Dug it up. I don't know if you can see that. It says T and P on it. It's a bell seal. Texas and Pacific Railroad. Which I'm about uh, maybe 150 yards from the railroad. And there was a spur that came off of the railroad. Right where those uh, red things are in the middle of my screen. A spur came over here and so that dates it. Texas and Pacific. Good find. Let's keep on going. So I got up at five o'clock this morning, drove up to Dallas and came back and then uh, then I went out to the field and I uh, wanted to see if I can get me a token out there. I never could get me a token. But um, anyway, this has been six different locations and seven times out on those locations and finally got enough to really make a video and it came through today. I had a good day today just for a couple of hours. So uh, it got too hot last week. Man, it was like 40 something degrees and, and today is like almost 90 degrees. That's Texas weather for you though. So I just kind of pitter out in this heat. I just can't handle it too much. So I got everything laid out. Let me turn you around. Let me show you what I got. There's all the trash from all those house sites out in that field. I was just digging lots of trash today. Everything was just trash. Lots of lead. And boy, those sound like a silver dollar. Them things sound really good. Uh, here's my treasures. I got two quarters. I got five dimes, one nickel. And I got seven pennies. Then I got uh, six, uh, five Wheaties. I don't know the date. I haven't cleaned them up yet. And also, I forgot that half dollar. I got that 1980 half dollar. I got those two things of play money where I've already cleaned them up. You saw how I did that. And I got that president token. And then this is, I didn't find this token today. I found this uh, on the same location a while back, but this is what I was looking for. It says German Lumber Company, Gladewater, Texas, and uh, good merchandise for 25 cents. This is what I was going for. Hopefully I could find another one of these tokens out there, but I didn't find any, but I haven't hunted at all. Texas and Pacific uh, bell t uh, uh, seals, a key and some type of thing of flotchy. I don't know what that is. You know what that is? Please comment. Let me know. I uh, did get a piece of old gold plated chain. And then here's the good finds. I got a 1941 
and I think, a, what is that, a 45 and a 44, something like that. I can't read it, not even in, in the camera. I got this uh, 45 Washington Quarter. Then the finds of the trip will have to be these two Barber Dimes. That's a 1908 Barber Dime and a 1900 Barber Dime. They're both in pretty rough shape. That ground was pretty hard on them. Turned them black and got crust all over these. But anyway, it was a good day. Five silvers is always a good day, and one big silver, and two old silvers. I like that, and uh, just wish I could get more of those tokens. But anyway, there's all the trash, and there's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can go out to a house out in the field and dig and put on your tailgate and do a wrap-up. The greatest treasure, my friends, is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting. And God bless. <music>